I'm just trying to explain, giving you the psychosexuals of the reasons why or reasons how and people came to that conclusion that they don't want the conservatives to use their music. It's because they're talking to them about how they've been and their, their conduct and the disrepute that they've put the UK into. And now with the economy, I mean, the disrepute is to the people they're governing, but to them, they've been favoured. But the only problem is, I don't like the way they're having one of my peoples from the motherland to take the brunt of the whole of the economy going down. Kwezi, me deal with you, why? I'm supporting you from afar, why? I'm sorry. But who will whom call her for them? That's, that's what I think about it. I'm not for bro for them, I know. I should not share the I could see. They brag a man has gone to space or something like that. You can't even find my space. You can't even find my yard. Someone has been able to check on Google's of them times back in the day to see where the moon was. And they went to the moon. But you don't know where my yard is. Why? Because you've been going to other places that you shouldn't have been going to. And yeah, the Conservative parties and the members have been doing, did that quite a little bit through the lockdown, didn't they? I mean, I'm relating everything to the lockdown because that was where the blatancy of the take of the pissy was. Do you get what I'm saying? So anyway, the, the word brag usually is associated with not believing or someone using a bit a lot more bravado to emphasise something that they've done in their lives, which they might not have done to that emphasis of the emphasis that they've done to the bravados. Am I making sense? It might not have been as brashly as they're saying that they did it. But also, in this concept of brag, the word brag, there is a part of society might be a very minute part that is very muted i don't know i'll tell you why i say that but there is a, a, a muted part of society that don't believe certain things happened that we've been told happened like people going to the moon and all that stuff i'm not saying anything about it all i'm saying is i don't know if that's where that bragging of the quintessentials the way m people said it came from or they were just making it seem like the person who said they're going to the moon bragged about it a little bit when he came back like yeah I went to the moon. Yeah, it was beautiful up there. Yeah. I loved it. Oh, it didn't happen. And again, who is the people then that if, you know, it didn't happen, who is the ones that created that story? Isn't it part of the conservatives of the conservatives of back in the days? Isn't it? Isn't it? Okay, it's in America or whatever. But it's all going, yeah, it's all together, and going together. So it's, again, the song is, again, penetrating them in another way that is even anti-government a little bit. It could be. It could be. And you've used that song to empower yourselves. So there's that. And now we've got someone else, Liz Trust, that came on to this music very, like, she was really trying to fill the music into the system while she's walking to the podium. In a very stiff way, I'm not going to lie to you. It didn't feel like there was very much soul going into the lyrics of the song that she was listening while she was going. I'm not going to lie. But the thing is, she didn't get consent. She didn't. How? I just don't get how they got this song as the campaign movement song. It's, it, it makes no sense for them to use it. I get the moving on that bit, but even with the moving on that bit, there's a bit of stubbornness to it. There's a bit of, you know, empowerment. Well... I guess they might be using the song to empower people then and uh, tell them they're moving on up. But like I said, if you were to listen to the song properly, that moving on up, that they're saying they're moving up, that it feels like they're doing it at the detriment of what the heck the UK are trying to say that they've done to them. You know, you know what I'm saying? Through M, the M, P, through M people. You know? This song was actually made for the Conservatives. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was literally this song was made for exactly what the conservatives have been showing us for the last whatever years it has been <sighs> it's just the realization is getting to me even more and it's just making me laugh oh, the conservatives went to find so many different things i can talk about the ppe scandals i can talk about the fact that we were meant to be in the midst of the most deadliest tingling of the tingling but those borders where the tingling can come in from other borders, it was never closed. So people could come in willy-nilly. 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 
will it? Then it's take it like a man, baby. If that's what you want, I wanted to talk about that because that take it like a man. It's all to do with the way men are seen in society and the fact that there's been a lifelong mentality that men shouldn't show their feelings when they're growing up. And so men's feelings are suppressed in a way that the way M people are talking about take it like a man is like, yeah, take it. Get the hell out. But I don't want to hear about your feelings. I don't give a heck about your feelings, conservatives. I don't give a heck about them. Get out of here. It feels like that's a, a societal construct that, you know, men shouldn't cry and things of that nature. Men shouldn't cry. Men should take things off the chin. Men shouldn't be able to express themselves. Men shouldn't react to the feelings that they feel based on any, um, you know, negative emotions they feel and things of that nature. I'm assuming it was in that respect that, yeah, it ain't about talking about what you feel about what you've done, conservatives, because you've done a hell of a lot. And to be frank with you, I don't want to hear what you've got to say. Yeah. Take it as a man. Get the head out of there without telling me your feelings. That's what it seems. And that, again, it does stem from a patriarchal way of being. Because, I mean, I don't think it's women that said we don't want to see men be emotional. I thought women have been trying to get men to talk for ages and they've not wanted to. I think this is the bit that they got. And the, the, the conservative people are like, yeah, we're moving it up. We're moving it up from taking people for a year there. We're moving on up from having private raves and not getting a, and getting away with it. And I think this is the moving bit is like, got the runners like, yeah, this is the one that we're going to give to the government to do for the campaign. The moving bit, because they said it so many times. That's all they did, just look directly at the moving. They didn't look at anything else. Anywho, that's it, guys. That's all I wanted to say about it. Um, and people are not having it, and I don't blame them. Definitely, I could say that one positive political musical campaign that worked clearly was the one that Labour did like in 97 yeah with Deereen and that song things can only get better do you remember that song I'll put it somewhere here and that song again is very quintessential to my heart why because one of my darling of the darlings my darling Lulu was in that in that band she was doing the vocals of the vocals now she does her own thing in Amen UK yes my baby Lolo. So again, that song, Things Can Only Get Better, paired with all of the promise that the UK felt that Labour brought to the shambolics of, I guess, what the Conservatives again were doing before. That was with, um, what's his name? John Major, wasn't it? Is it John Major? Who was before? Was it John Major? I can't remember. Remind me, guys. Put it in the tingling. It was John Major and then it was Tony Blair. Yeah, wasn't it? Anywho, yeah. So that is what you could say was a very successful pairing when it comes to a campaign and a song really connoting what the, 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 the political party wants to do, if that makes sense. Give me the psychosexuals. Like I said, there's not everything that I'm gonna be talking about had the psychosexuals in it. If we were talking about a situation in regards to being in a relationship and the partner finding out and it doesn't have to well it's in this song definitely it's a man that heather's speaking to or and people are talking to because she said take it like a man baby if you best what you want you know what i'm saying and even the word baby i mean the fact that she's even still calling him baby which is a term of endearment i'm definitely going to look into the different songs and how babies use because really you wouldn't really be calling your someone who's done you wrong baby but it could be in a sarcastic way and i think that's what she meant take it like a man baby if that's what you are or take it like a man if that's what you are baby she could have been saying it either way in the lyrics you know what i'm saying and tell me what you guys think i mean you know what like i know i've not said as much as i could have said in regards to what you know all the things that this party has been responsible for in the last few years and continues to be responsible for and doesn't actually concern itself with looking after the people that they are meant to be governing but they can rather look after different countries that look like them a lot more and support them and give them places to live and even give people who want to give, bring those people um, have those people in the house 350 pounds like that's going to be enough but that's by the by but then when it's other people from you know, you know, you know, you know there's 
plans to go to Rwanda. Plans for them to go to Rwanda. So guys, tell me if you remember anything else that the Conservatives have done. Let me swipe it into the lyrics of Moving On Up. But guys, I've spoken for too long now. I'm going to love you guys and leave you. You can find me in all the different social medias. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Sex Talk With Sills on all media platforms. And guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. Take care, stay blessed, comment down below, share, guys. Get Heather to sit, see this. Get the other ones, Mr. Pickering, I forgot the rest of his name. Get him to see it as well. He's the one who described the beginnings of what this song is about. And I just gave the psychosexuals in between of it. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs>